How's it going everyone? Welcome to a Nintendo Financial Results uh, news video. It's just a quick recap. I'm only going to focus on the Switch and the Switch software, so first and second party games. Uh, yeah, um, I haven't actually looked at the entire list, so I don't actually know off the top of my head every game. No Mario Kart 8 Deluxe outsold Mario Kart 8, or no, Mario Kart Wii, so that's pretty cool. Um, but beyond that, I don't really know much about that. So let's get into it. So it's November 4th, as the time of making this video and the time of the meeting Nintendo had in Japan, uh, it was November 4th, just in case you're watching this on a, on November 5th or any other day of the year. You're probably not, if you're probably not going to watch this like a week from now, but you get what I'm saying. So Nintendo concluded its investor relations or IR meeting for the second quarter of fiscal year 2021. So it's been six months since April of this year. That was when Nintendo started its new fiscal year. And then that'll go through March 2022. So this information is based off of September 30th for Switch. I am going to briefly go over Wii, Wii U, and 3DS just because those were like the last couple systems. And also the Wii. The Switch is about to outsell the Wii. I think it'll happen maybe the next three or four months. It's kind of hard to say. Um, but... If it happen, if it doesn't happen, it'll happen early next year. But I think it will. We'll hear probably hear about it in January, unless you know there's more of a supply chain um, shortage, which I'm sure there will be. Now, no, I'm not sure there will be. There is going to be, but I still expect it to sell well. Anyway, so this article will cover mostly sales. Well, article will cover only sales for the Switch and its titles. So software, mostly Nintendo published IPs. I actually, I believe they're all uh, published by Nintendo. I think that's all what's covered in here. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at the entire list yet. Only list, looked at like one or two games. Anyway, so uh, let me, I'm on Streamlabs. Probably not going to edit this video. But yep, you can see two of me. That's actually, I wanted, I meant to do that. Uh, not the best setup. I'm just trying to get this up. So probably not going to be any editing. So, uh, oh, let's start with this. We have the Nintendo Switch. This as of September 30th of this year. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. The Switch has sold 92.87 million units with a software sitting exactly at 681 million units, which is funny. I'm sure that's probably an estimated, estimated, an estimated number. Or no, no, I think these are exact numbers, but they're rounded. I'm sure they're maybe it's higher. It might be higher than 681. Maybe it's like 681 point zero 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 one million. I'm, you get what I'm saying but they're not going to list like a bunch of decimals. Okay, so I'm going to list a bunch of other systems. Now, Nintendo, from my knowledge, has no longer um, keeps official sales numbers for a lot of the last-gen consoles or last-gen handhelds. Anyway, so, you know, we'll go, I'm not going to go over every system. If you want to look at all of them, you can uh, have the links in the description to both dedicated sales units for video game consoles and handhelds, as well as uh, software. So if you want to look at that, links in the description. So uh, let's look at 3DS. We have 3DS, which would include the also the new 3DS and 2DS and all, you know, family of 3DS. The Nintendo DS, DS Lite, DSi, and DSi XL do not count. Those were separate generation. I can make a separate video on that, but um, maybe some other time. And that's not what this video is on. So 3DS had 75.94 million. Uh, console, not consoles, but handhelds it sold with 387.42 million units. Sorry, I should be highlighting. Wii U, yes, 304, 304. 13.56 million with the software just over 100 million. We had 101.63 million units. It's not letting me highlight. I think these are just, some of these are just images. Yeah, most likely. That's probably why it's not letting me highlight. And the quality of these kind of look a little higher too. So 101.63 million units with over 920 million software titles on the Wii. Not sure if that's digital included or if that's physical only. Um, it's hard to say. I'm more focused on the Switch, so I'm not, as you can see, a kind of just being vague on some of these numbers. I want to focus more on the Switch though. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Switch is really close to outselling the Wii. If I think it will in January, we'll probably hear the Switch has outsold the Wii. I get that there's a supply chain 
shortage, but I still think it could happen. And at worst, I could maybe see it. I, if it doesn't happen, I think it'll happen in March. It'll happen next year, at least. I'm going to be a little disappointed if it doesn't happen in January, if we don't hear about it in January, or whenever Nintendo has their investors meeting for the third end of uh, the third quarter, which would be this December. Anyway, I know it's confusing. So let's just go back to software for the Switch <coughs> voice crank. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is at 38.74 million units, which I believe has actually outsold Mario Kart Wii on the Wii. I don't know why I said Wii twice. It has Wii in the title. Didn't really need to say that. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it has the Japanese cover. Actually, I think it does for all these games. Animal Crossing is sitting at uh, New Horizons is sitting at 34.85 million. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, 25.71 million. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is only the Switch version, not the Wii U version. Uh, the same for Mario Kart. 24.13 million units. It's also the best selling Zelda game in the franchise. You have Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or just Pokemon Sword and Shield, if you want to call it that. So those numbers are combined. 22.64 million. Super Mario Odyssey at 21.95 million. Super Mario Party, which I probably will never play. This one in particular. 16.48 million. Then we have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. 13.83 million units combined. Splatoon 2, 12.68 million. And this one actually surprised me. I didn't, I didn't know until like five seconds ago this game was on the list. But okay, Ring Fit Adventure. 12.21 million units. Um, I'm kind of surprised, actually. I, Because I, I I don't know. I'm, I thought the game would do okay. I was like, oh, I'll get a couple million, then people are going to stop playing it. Maybe it'll over over the years, maybe it'll reach four or five million. Okay, I did not expect that. That's that's actually pretty good, even though I've played this game like twice. I need to play more of it because it's a lot of money. Anyway. Yeah, so um, those are the results, the recaps. I'm, I'm not going to go over their entire meeting. That would take forever. And then they also talk about percentage numbers. I suck at math. And I would probably have a vague idea of what they're talking about. And if I try to explain it, I'm not going to know what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm going to let somebody else do that. Or, hey, if you're an expert at that, I'm not an expert. So I just kind of go over it vague. I just reiterate news, basically recaps mostly. So if you don't want to read all the hard stuff, all the complicated stuff that I would find complicated anyway, you can watch this. Anyway, that's going to be it. Be making more videos like this. Um, obviously, I'm not doing another MPD video until next month. Well, no, no. What am I saying? This month. It's already November. I don't know. I, was, I still think it's October. Even though at the beginning of the video, I said November 4th, whatever. Oh, uh, okay. And by the time I get used to November, it's going to be December. Yeah, so I'm better stop talking, especially since I'm not editing this out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, are you going to get this? If you don't have a Switch, or even if you do have a Switch, are you considering getting the Switch OLED? I know this has nothing to do with the Switch OLED, this video, but or the Switch Lite. But uh, maybe you would like to pick up one of the new bundles they're going to have. Um, you know, actually, I take that back. I don't think it's a new bundle. I think it's a bundle they had from last year. But I'm sure there's third-party bundles, bundles, bundles from, like, GameStop or EB Games. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that is going to be it. I want to thank you for watching me blabber on. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.